So now that we've learned how to evaluate in Boolean, a Boolean expression, how do we apply that to this idea of a conditional statement, making the computer uh, have a decision? And simply put, this is the syntax that we're looking at. We start off with this if block, this if statement right here. Now what this does is this sets up for Java uh, that this don't run the code, don't run whatever's in here just yet, don't run whatever this block of code is, unless this conditional statement, this boolean expression evaluates out to true. If true, then do this block of code. Don't do it unless that happens. You can see one of the things that we add in here is that we've now included sort of these uh, curly braces, just like we did with uh, public static void main and public class we're adding those here. Now those curly braces again they indicate that this is known as a block of code. Uh, so only it's everything that's going to be within those curly braces would be executed only if this is true. Well what happens if I want a fork in the road style? Right now uh, we're dealing with just a if something is true do something. What happens if I want to go well if it's true do this? If it's not, do this. That actually equates out to something we call a dual alternative selection statement or an if else statement. The same kind of concept goes on there. I start off with first my if statement. I still have my conditional block and I still have my block of code. But then I get into this else keyword. Now this else keyword is literally designed to act as the false portion. So if whatever got equated out here turned out to be false, then this executes instead of uh, what was in the true statement, what was in the if statement. So the way you can think about it is this happens when it's true, this happens when it's false. And we could see that a little even further. If we go way back to our code here, uh, A, B, and C, A is 54, C, B is 3.14, C is 3. If we look at that, if A greater than B, if 54 greater than 3.14 then do a system dot out dot print line a is greater than b else b is greater than a and since 54 is greater than 3.14 what do you know we're going to be evaluating this out as true true and so this gets executed and again Java completely ignores the else block.